Many of us use PDAs like this one every day to manage our calendars. But with their limited screen space, performing complex tasks can be a challenge. Most commercial calendar applications are designed for accessing appointments in a day or for scheduling appointments when you already know when you want to schedule them. However, we have found that current interfaces are limited in their ability to support planning and analysis tasks. For instance, if you'd like to plan a weekend camping trip or maybe your next dentist appointment, we think we can do better. So, at the University of Maryland, we designed FishCal, a new interface for calendars on small devices. The idea is to use a combination of visualization, simple interaction, and fisheye distortion to give users the big picture in a small space. FishCal shows each day of the week in a column and shows consecutive weeks in rows with months alternating background colors. Each day is shown with a small visual representation that shows when appointments are scheduled and when there are conflicting appointments. Let's just jump right in and see what my schedule looks like. By dragging the pointer, we can get tooltips of my appointments and quickly see over here that next week is spring break. The red day here is today. But wait a minute, watch this. There's one blue appointment during spring break. Ah, my regularly weekly meeting with Hillary. I'll have to check with her to see if she's actually going to be around. Looking at today, I see there's three dots here, which means that I'm somewhat overbooked. Let's take a closer look. Sure enough, I have office hours, I'm shooting the video, and supposed to be meeting with Hillary right now. But that's OK, because I rescheduled those appointments. Well, what I wanted to do is plan a summer trip. So let's see what the semester looks like. I can type in class, and all of the days with the appointment class get highlighted. I can zoom into one of these days to check. Sure enough, Teach Dewey class is there. I can look at the scroll bar and see all of the days that are highlighted, including these outliers down here. Let's see, what's this one? September 2002, ah, first day of classes. And if I go over here, I can click on this day and see the last day of classes. So that makes sense. Now, when is the final exam for my class? Let's scroll back up to looking at the class. And I can open up any day with one of my classes and click on the appointments, Teach Dewey class and it will highlight all days that are both inexact, exact and inexact matching classes. And over here, we can see that the, the 18th was highlighted in orange, which is the color for inexact classes. I can click on it and see that Dewey final exam is highlighted because the word Dewey matches one of the words from the Dewey class. Now, I know our lab's open house is at the end of May somewhere, so let's see if we can find out what that is. I can use tooltips and, and look around here. And sure enough, here it is on May 30th is the HCIL Symposium Open House and here. So this certainly is a week I don't want to be away. So that means that maybe this week, the week of May 20th, or perhaps this week, the week of June 3rd, will be good weeks for that trip. I'll have to check with the rest of my family. OK, now I also was supposed to look into planning a camping trip this spring. Let's look at some upcoming weekends. We'll use the scroll bar to limit the view to the end of April. I can see more or less time in my view. And then use these checkboxes on the sides to can allocate screen space more effectively. So I can minimize the amount of space allocated for weekdays and for March. And what I'm left with is a concentration of time on weekends in April. And I can see that I'm going to Kai the third week of April, so maybe the best time to plan a camping trip would be the weekend after that. This is my daughter's music class, but maybe she'll miss that one class. While we've been designing FishCal for a PDA, the design also scales to smaller devices, like mobile phones, where if I reconfigure the space a little bit, I can actually get a reasonable view on several weeks of information, as well as larger desktop displays. 
We're also looking at the use of FishCal on the desktop domain. Here we can clearly take advantage of the larger screen space that's available and see much more information at once and yet continue the same interaction. FishCal is written in C-sharp and is currently running on a desktop PC, but should be available to run on the Pocket PC device shortly, at which point we expect to make it available for download.